Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is the full moon reading for the air sign people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. I don't know what's happening to this full moon, but ladies and gentlemen, you gotta be aware of what is happening in this full moon. It is just unbelievable. Really, really unbelievable. So this full moon is for the air sign people from the 15th of November until the 15th of December. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for your a positive energy vibration. Thank you for um, extending such warm love and I'm sending you a lot of love. I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true for Christmas. Christmas is coming up. Please open your hearts and remember Happy Thanksgiving to all the people who celebrate Thanksgiving and uh, I want to say to each and every person I really appreciate uh, um, your support I love you guys and um, please be aware and open up to the energies that is coming up okay we're just going to be looking first at the general reading for you ear sign then we are going to be looking at the fire sign and then the moon sign okay so this is good so whatever is transpiring and happening in your life, I'm seeing wonderful positive um, energies are going to be coming out. So be aware of that, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, please remember your houses or the third house for the, Gem for the Gemini, um, the seventh house for the Librans, and uh, the eleventh house for the Aquarian. So we're going to go right in it. Please remember, if you would like to have the extended uh, for this reading for each and every one of your zodiac sign, please use the link below. Okay. All right. First, we're going to be looking at uh, what aspect is going to affect you guys. Um, what? It's going to be transpiring who it's going to be affect and how it's going to be affecting you okay so let's see what's coming out what's transpiring for you guys um, the air sign people for the full moon we're calling in on Archangel Gabriel and they're saying Archangel Annual supervisor of Thorn element master fire fire salamander seal this reading off the unicorns the king and queen of unicorns please stand by my left and right hand side I'm calling on Mother, Father, God, and uh, all universal beams and angels that is connected to the moon to give the reading for the Gemini, Aquarians, and the Librans. Okay, so remember the first house is self. I'm seeing some luck in the first house. I'm seeing um, Saturn is going to affect your second house. I'm seeing luck with family, whatever the issues is and the situation. I'm seeing some luck with the family. And that is good. Love is coming in. Hot, passionate sex for you, air sign. Really hot, passionate sex coming up for you, air signs. Okay. So um, that is good. Um, intimacy is good. Um, your luck is in your, your first house, which is yourself. Um, Jupiter is bringing you luck with a family. Love is in uh, the intimate side. I'm seeing a transition in your relationships. Uh, um, and uh, um, communication um, is coming up for um, you Aquarians okay so let's see what is happening who is going to be there Pisces um, Sagittarius Wow cancers are in the family okay alrighty okay ah oh, wonderful wonderful um energies are coming up remember after this general reading we're going to be doing the sun sign okay so we have in the first house some of you are dealing with a pisces okay this could be a mystical energy that is going to be unexpectedly um helping you out um it could be healing balancing if you weren't feeling good in yourself if you were having conflicts if we were having um you know self-deceiving and that sort of a thing i'm saying luck is going to be coming up where your spirit guides and angels are going to be coming in and help you this is a mystical mystical um center whatever is transpiring i'm definitely seeing that in the first house you are going to be dealing with 
um, some of your Pisces and uh, the Pisces uh, could be helping you and giving you some luck okay whatever the issue is uh, the Pisces could be really helping you and giving you some luck so whatever is happening and transpiring in yourself you're realizing something and you're uh, um, you know blonde um, blending yourself and your understanding and thereby you're healing so much aspect of yourself so this is good it's looking good um, the first house is really looking good for you guys so now in the second house whatever the issue is and the situation is I'm seeing Saturn coming in your second house now your second house is your second house of money now I'm seeing a Sagittarius uh, um, bringing and using a Sagittarius is using um, um, uh, the planetary system of Saturn um, to shake up your house to bring back the discipline to your financial stability um, whatever the transition is I'm seeing a Sagittarius or someone with the energy of a Sagittarius or something that has to focus with a, the energy of the Sagittarius that is bringing back and bringing back balance in your financial stability and I think that someone is helping you from outside to release you and help you to bring back balance in your life and understand what it is uh, um, to balance out your financial life or your financial situation so whoever the Sagittarian is I'm seeing there um, really working um, because whenever Saturn comes up in your second house your second house is your house of money financial assets um, uh, what you have in life uh, properties and that sort of a thing and I'm seeing a Sagittarius is going to be helping you to bring back discipline in this um, house in the third house Gemini's you're dealing with a Virgo whoever this Virgo is this Virgo has a lot of secrets so um, if you have secrets um, 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 Gemini's if you have secrets this Virgos know your secrets whatever the secrets whatever you have whatever that you're doing there's someone in your um, in, 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 in you know um, your uh, surroundings that um, knows your secret so whoever you are there is a, a, a Virgo in your surrounding that knows your secret whatever your secrets are and whatever that has transpired I'm seeing a lot of secrets a secrets about a cancer and a Virgo found out some secrets about a cancer so you Gemini who are in a relationship um with um, a cancer a Virgo is going to be finding out some secrets and letting you be aware of this because they're going to be finding out that this person is not who they seems to be okay this person is uh, working for a criminal um, organization they uh, this person has been so if you're dealing with a, a cancer it's a cancer okay um, so for the rest of you uh, I'm seeing that Virgos are going to be helping you um, to deplore the secrets of what is transpiring and happening around you. But for the Gemini's, because this is the house of the Gemini's, if you are in a relationship with a Cancer, a Virgo is going to be finding out a lot of things about this Cancer because this Cancer is not who they say they are. Okay, they're deceiving. They're connected to a criminal organization. They are connected to human traffickers. Uh, um, they're connecting in selling paper and documentation the Virgo have found out who this person is okay as we move forward and the Virgo the Virgo is a time of innovation so some of you um, Gemini's could be uh, you know finding out how to heal certain things and uh, you could be creating something new if you are someone who is an innovator so that is looking good but I'm seeing whoever this Virgo is this Virgo um, find out and realize something about the a cancer you're in a relationship with okay could affect the rest of you but this is the house of the Virgo the third house in the fourth house of family I'm seeing some luck whatever the luck that is coming up you're going to be lucky getting out of a relationship and ending something with a cancer so whatever is transpiring you're going to be having some luck over this cancer so um, this is the house of the cancer this is the house of family I am seeing the family is going to be having some luck um, getting rid of this cancer whoever this cancer is I'm seeing this could be someone who have uh, married in your 
marry in your um, family or is connected to someone in your family the family is not so keen on this person and unexpected luck is going to be coming in um, to remove this cancer out of the, your family so this is definitely a cancer that was uh, um, like married to someone in the family or is in that relationship with someone but the family was so keen on this person and Jupiter is coming to help you to release this cancer out of your life there is no luck with this cancer it is that this you are in um, a situation where you fall in the house of the cancer and you are going to be having luck to get rid of a cancer so if you married to a cancer a ex a baby mother or a, a baby a, um um uh, um, the mother or father of a, your child what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be having some luck really getting rid of this person some of you were on distress with this person some of you this person has been in your life and um, you are so bloody stressed out because this person has so much demands you have no life actually because this person just bloody takes over your life and what is transpiring is that this person could be someone who you got married to however that is and however that played in your life um the universe you're going to be having luck releasing this person from your life now pluto is coming up in the house of pleasure so aquarians be aware because pluto is coming up in the house of pleasure whatever this issue and this situation is pluto is here so it's going to affect the aquarians because this is your reading and it falls in your house of pleasure for the rest of you Gemini's and Librans, it's going to be okay, but I'm seeing transformation is coming up um, and it is going to um, affect the Aquarians more than anyone else. It's going to affect the Aquarians more than anyone else because what happens when Pluto comes up is that Pluto has to make a transition and remove something that no longer serves you. And you Aquarians, whatever the issue is and the situation, someone um, could be removed out of your life. So Gemini's, you could be moving an Aquarian or um, the Librans could be moving an Aquarian or the Aquarians, uh, people and situation, your pleasure is going to be moved out of your life. Okay. When Pluto comes um, in the fifth house, that is uh, when people could be having jail time. Okay. So as we look in the sixth house the sixth house is a work career whatever you do um there is a, um the energy of an aries that is affecting you guys in work and career whoever this aries is and whatever this person is and whoever this person is is definitely working with the unseen so definitely they're working witchcraft black magic whatever this person um could be on the work floor with you guys and, and that is why they fall in the house of the virgos and the virgos are going to be finding out some secrets and it's going to be helping you out now neptune works with the pisces but neptune is an unseen planet so obviously unseen is working with the unseen world and there is a, this leo that is causing creation but i'm seeing that this leo is about to fall if they haven't fallen some of them are going to be falling remember this reading is from the 14th of november till the 14th of december so pick up the extended the extended of this reading to find out who at your workplace or who you're doing business or maybe it's just someone who is jealous of your business they're using negative forces and energy but you're protected from this okay as we look in the fifth house of marriages and long-term relationship the seventh house of marriage and long-term relationship i'm seeing unexpected um changes is coming up so um unexpected change it can be good for some people it can be bad but this is a new person that is coming in this is someone who is going to be finding the beauty within you and seeing the beauty within you some of you could be planning on getting married um but this is coming up as a new love some of you could be married but it's seeing someone on the side unexpectedly um, you find yourself in a relationship or connect to someone else who you weren't aware of so this is because whatever is transpiring it has to do with love some of you um, the unexpected situation is in a, a lawsuit or something that whoa 
just a shift of something that was transpiring I'm seeing the lovers coming in so some of you are going to be meeting someone new if you and this person might end up marrying you because they're in the house of marriage okay unexpected with legal um, issues and 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 legal suits okay unexpected with legal issues and legal suit now in the eighth house Gemini's the sex is going to be off the chart OMG so sex for all of you guys is going to be good the intimacy if there's any intimacy whatever you're looking for the love the passion is going to be coming back but you Gemini's you are going to be eating this off the chart so we're going to be looking to find out who um, this new um, intimacy who this new relationship is going to be happening for because this is just going to be absolutely fabulous for you Gemini's so whatever is happening and transpiring this is just going to be good this is going to be positive it's going to be a positive alignment from energy that is coming in I'm seeing um, the intimacy is as if it, everyone is alive and will wake to the intimacy and it's just going to be brilliant for you guys as we look in the ninth house the ascendant is here and it's in the ninth house some of you are dealing with a scorpion um very strange person very strange um situation that is happening around you unseen things that is happening and you're realizing that a scorpion has something to do with it okay you and a scorpion could have been in league and alignment to do and hurt other people and other situation this is definitely going to be coming out this um, scorpion has something to do with the unseen world and works with the unseen world but I'm seeing the scorpion being caught and then has to pay for their karmas so whatever is transpiring the scorpion is really dabbling in the unseen world so you gotta be careful of who the scorpion is especially when they're in the house of strange um unseen things and that sort of a thing the scorpion is really weird you gotta be but now you're going to be it's as if you realize that this scorpion has a lot to do with whatever is transpiring so you gotta be aware of this okay so we're moving on in the tent house of repetition and again i'm seeing the Taurus. Whoever the Taurus is is going to be helping out some of you to bring back your repetition. Okay, so a Taurus is really having your back with something. Whoever the Taurus is, they're really having their backs with something. And in the house of repetition, reputation, if you're dealing um, with an issue, I'm seeing a Taurus could a Taurus and a Capricorn could be helping out some of you because the tenth house is the house of the Capricorn. If you have done something against a Capricorn, a Taurus is going to help a Capricorn to bring back their repetition. But for some of you, it is the help that is coming from the earth sign to balance out your repetition. Whoever the Taurus is and whatever is transpiring, the energy of the sun. So for the sun people, if your reputation was um, hurt, you are going to be balancing back this out because a Taurus is going to help you to balance back out your reputation. As we look in the house of the Aquarians, the house of the Aquarians, what we're seeing here in the house of the Aquarians, we're seeing communication. Some of you Aquarians are dealing with conflict, legal issues, and that sort of a thing. Communication is going to be um, very important. So whatever is transpiring, you Aquarians, communication is have to be the key, and it's going to be the key, or else you won't be able to resolve whatever the issue and situation that is going on. Because here we have um, the the there is a Libra that is cutting through and seen from the communication. A Libra. Um, could be realizing that um, you're not communicating um, you Aquarians and whatever the issue is if you're having a lawsuit I'm seeing that your lawyer is looking at you as if um, something does a hat up here so whatever is transparent for the rest of you I think communication because they're going to be seeing something because it's in the house of the Aquarians it 
whatever is transpiring for you your side is you have to communicate if you're dealing with legal issues and to a lawyer and that sort of a thing you gotta be communicate because they're going to be seeing if you're bsing they're going to be seeing this if you're definitely bsing they're going to be seeing this okay so um and that is just for everyone not for only um the aquarians so um, we're looking at the 12th house and in the 12th house, the North node is in your 12th house. So it is a karmatic situation. Some of you have been dealing with a karmatic situation with a Capricorn and I'm seeing that it is time that you're going to be surrendered this, car this um, karmatic situation because I'm seeing whatever is happening and transpiring. I'm seeing the 12th house is where um, it is your destiny okay but it's as if some of you could have had an issue with a capricorn and you gotta heal this situation because it's as if um the universe and the guides and angels are saying this is karma what you have done you have created your own karma and now you you have to balance out your your own karma the north node um is that it is really a karma some of you are having some karmatic issues with a, a capricorn and this person is uh, um I think this person has been very very good to you and you use the goodness and you create lies and deceptiveness and this person stands up because that Capricorn rule is ruled by the Saturn and Capricorn is like no um, I am NOT letting anyone walk over me and I guess you guys have to go back and apologize uh, to the Capricorn forgiveness is the key but remember that you have created karma around yourself with this person and that is the reason why okay so first we're going to be looking at the sun sign people and remember sun sign people um, the house of reputation is going to be affecting you so your reputation um, is going to be the vocal point for the sun sign people okay for the moon people I'm seeing secrets coming up um, the, the moon people um, the moon Gemini's are going to be affected by secrets coming out okay about a cancer so you're going to be affected with secrets coming out for the cancer so first we're going to look at the Sun sign people then we look at the moon sign people so in the first house of self I'm seeing you guys loving yourself there's emotional situation I'm seeing situation overseas that is happening I'm seeing the energy of the ring um, in the family no changes in the family definitely changes in the family whatever the issue is and the situation is I'm seeing changes in the family I'm seeing money coming from a scorpion overseas whoever the scorpion is I'm seeing some money coming in from a scorpion overseas okay so um, contracts is coming up for um, you contracts work contracts healing um healing with marriages uh healing it with work situation is coming up for you guys you sun sign people so as we look um as we look um in the first house remember there's luck in the first house okay so the luck that is in the first house has to do with a pisces and um, unexpected surprises so some lux is in the first house and there is going to be some unexpected surprises with a Pisces so whatever the issue situation is I'm seeing luck coming up in the first house you're going to be having some unexpected surprises with a Pisces so a Pisces could be helping you to find yourself back to balance and that sort of a thing so this is going to be good so unexpected luck in the first house in the second house where uh, Saturn is I'm seeing some emotional situation with a Sagittarius so in the second house where your money is um, some of you could be divorcing and have to share your assets with a Sagittarius okay because the, 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 when Saturn is in your financial house your house of money and uh, um, prosperity and abundancy um, it means that there is a correctional uh, correction correction that has to happen because 
someone is divorcing someone is selling something someone is buying something so there are changes but this emotional thing meaning that some of you are divorcing a Sagittarian and you have to share your um, financial stability in the third house um, uh, in the third house what is transpiring is that you Virgos are being affected by a, a situation you could be traveling to see a Virgo uh, the Virgos there are information and secrets around you um, you um, um, you you um, Sun sign people whatever is happening and the secrets a Virgo knows a lot a Virgo overseas knows a lot whatever the secret is a Virgo overseas know a lot this Virgo is connected to your environment or a past life or whatever but this Virgo has a lot of secrets for you and knows a lot of secrets about you so whatever that is transpiring and happening I'm seeing this Virgo um, coming up definitely as I said to you guys especially for the Sun sign people whoever this cancer is they're going to be removed out of your life because now they are at a crossroads okay this person is not a sister is not a family member they is just connected with you or someone in the family but whatever that has transpired you are going to be lucky coming out of this situation with this cancer because whatever transpired now there's a crossroad for the cancer or you're going to make a decision whether or not you go forward with the cancer or not because you're going to be lucky and i think you're going to something happen and you're going to see oh my god this is the moment i've been waiting for and you're going to grab that because something is going to be happening where the cancer reach a crossroad or you reach a crossroad and you're going to grab the moment and say yeah this is the moment and you're going to get out of the relationship so the family is going to be back in order because whatever is transpiring and whoever this cancer is they never like this cancer and i am seeing that now okay so in the house of passion pluto comes and pluto is blocking an aquarius in a house of passion Pluto came and Pluto is blocking an Aquarius. Whoever this Aquarian is and whatever this Aquarian was doing, Pluto comes in to remove. So you Aquarians, you got to be careful because in your fifth house, there is um, blocks. So this could be that you could be going to jail because it's the house of passion and you won't be having any passion because Pluto is coming to, to, tra to make transition. It's going to change up something. So... Um, this 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 comes up when people are going to go to jail or something like that because you're going to be closed off so be aware of what is transpiring for the rest of you guys transformation is coming up in the house of passion as we look at the house of career I'm seeing some successes success over an Aries whoever this Aries is and whatever they were doing to you on the work floor or um, using negative forces and energies I'm seeing you're going to be successfully overcoming this negative form of energy that this Aries was sending to you. I'm seeing that you're going to be beating whatever it is because you're going to be removing that uh, um, negative forces and whatever that was transpiring. So congratulations to the people who were dealing with issues on the work floor or in business with an Aries because you're going to be successful over this Aries. You're radically um, letting this Aries know back up you know don't mess with me okay and this is good however this person was coming up in business or um, business or that sort of a um, situation now um, Libran Librans unexpected luck is coming up um, you Librans unexpected luck is coming up with a new love some of you are going to be moving in together okay so you liberals um, unexpected news from um, unexpected news is coming in um, and a new love is going to be coming in and this person is going to be you both are going to be moving in or buying a house together um, this is good this is positive because this is in the house of relationship and marriage so you liberal expect that someone is going to ask you to move in or buy a house together okay so this is wonderful for the rest of you guys whatever is transpiring I'm seeing 
um some unexpected situation that is going to be happening if you are planning to buy a house or sell a house or whatever just unexpected later buying or the selling of the house whatever is happening and transpiring you are going to be realizing this and seeing this and you're going to be um like letting go of something so let's say that you had planned to buy a house with a, a cancer or a cancer was pushing you to move in and buy a house you're not going to do it and you're going to be happy not doing it and this is for the gemini's and the aquarians as we look at love um passionate relationship gemini's you're definitely deciding to leave someone behind and move forward with another person because the passion is uh, off the chart with this person so whoever um i think you're some of you are getting rid of the cancers and then moving forward with someone else because the passion is much better with someone else and this is going to be good because i'm seeing that you're realizing that uh, the cancer um it's not what you were looking for i think you have woken up because something has transpired and happened and it's as if the cancer is like yeah um you know you're seeing that because the cancer you come at a crossroad with a cancer and it's as if you're saying oh it doesn't have to be a cancer for some of you it's going to be that you um could be married and then you met someone and you realize that the passion is off the chart and you're going to be um changing and making decision to go with someone else money is in the house of um foreign um situations this is very good this is very positive whatever the issue is and situation is i'm seeing money coming in some of you could find out that someone who is a scorpio tries to uh, have stolen some money from you or is going to be helping you financially however this person is i'm seeing they're coming up whoever the scorpion is i'm seeing them in your uh, house of ascendance so you could be finding out that a scorpion could have used your information um and gain a lot of money off of it so you gotta be aware but money stand in the house of the ascendance and it has to do with a scorpion okay it has to do with a scorpion and whoever the scorpion is and whatever the scorpion is doing um i'm seeing that whatever they have done the release of your financial flow is going to be coming in because it's as if um it's as if the ascendance is as if um they're showing you what this this person have done okay in the house of reputation i'm i'm seeing you receiving an invitation from a taurus whoever this taurus is i'm really seeing you receiving a lot of you especially you sun sign people are going to be receiving an invitation from a taurus this is going to be good because this taurus is going to be balancing out your reputation and this is going to be fabulous so, so congratulations there for the sun people um for the moon people i'm seeing um if you were um you know looking for something and you were asking um for something i'm seeing balance is definitely going to be coming in your life and this is going to be good so we have mercury communication and i'm seeing a libran um, you liberal men communications or here I'm seeing you going to be communicating very cl clearly if you have a legal issue I'm seeing you men if you have a legal issue you gotta communicate clearly because whatever is happening and transpiring communication is going to be the key you got to be honest whatever it is uh, whatever emotional situation that you're going on with you got to be honest and um and upright about uh, what really transpired okay because um it's as if people are going to be having receipts and uh, um they're going to you know other people are going to be realizing that you know you you were very honest about something because you were like playing a game and playing two people beside each other so conflicts with a capricorn and um the north node is in the 12 hours so i'm seeing conflicts with a capricorn um, some of you are definitely have to ask for forgiveness. Um, some of you have done some things to a Capricorn. There is conflicts, uh, forgiven. This is a karmatic situation and a karmatic issue. So whatever the issue and the situation is, I'm seeing that this um, person, this Capricorn, because it's in the house, it's a Capricorn, it's a house of surrender, and it's the house of uh, karmatic issues, past life, forgiveness. And I'm seeing a conflict coming up with uh, um uh, a, a, um, a Capricorn but it's as if this Capricorn person realize that some of you are going down 
the wrong road whatever is transpiring some they are realizing that some of you are going down the wrong road and that some of you were blindfolded by a cancer and they're not working against you they're actually protecting you because you had um, asked them uh, to work with you in this time to protect you from whatever was transpiring okay I love you guys work out whatever it is with a Capricorn Capricorns are not bad people they just protect their friends and the people who they love the most and I think that some of you got caught up in a nasty organization and a deceptive person and that is it Capricorn protect their friends because Capricorn when you bring your partner Capricorn always sit there and study look at a Capricorn when they go to party or dinners or so they're very quiet they sit there and they study the people and when you ask them they always tell you the truth you know and they always protect you no matter how you feel about them if they if you have done good for a Capricorn they will always protect you okay alrighty let's see what is coming up for the moon sign people what is coming up for the moon sign people the moon sign here sign people thank you thank you, the universe for showing us that beautiful message what is coming up for the air sign people okay so we have the Sun and this is a beautiful energy that is coming up in your first house a lot of you are really having it good in the first house um, and and this is good because sometimes you're always so bowed down bothered down by um, really bothered down by your thoughts and I'm seeing um now it's just like positive alignment of many energies is coming up so luck 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 for you moon people so if you were born at 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. there is a lot of luck that is coming up for you guys especially in the house of yourself this has to do with you who you are I'm seeing success is coming for you and a Pisces whatever the issue the situation is I'm seeing success is going to be coming out for you and a Pisces so whatever that was uh, happening and transpiring you were having conflicting thoughts about you and a Pisces I'm seeing success coming up for you and a Pisces okay then we have the ladies this is where um, there is a Sagittarius lady that is going to be bringing some eruption in your um, financial stability whoever the Sagittarius lady is and whatever she has done or whatever she's creating around you I'm seeing um, the planet of uh, Saturn coming into erupt so you ladies and men um, just be aware of the Sagittarius whoever the Sagittarian lady is uh, she have created some eruption in your assets so be aware of this so it could be that divorcing you're divorcing the Sagittarius lady or there is just this this person just with a heart that is coming at you and want to create um, conflicts in your materialistic world so be aware of these people and trust me you have these really sick people I don't know why would you want to be jealous of what someone have um be careful of the Sagittarian woman she could be someone um, who is your neighbor okay so be careful all right so luck with um, a Virgo whoever this Virgo is this Virgo has a lot of secret about someone around you whoever this Virgo is this Virgo is um I think this Virgo is coming up uh, because whatever the secret is about this cancer whatever the secret is about someone around you in your environment I'm seeing people are going to be loving you because the Virgo is going to be finding out exactly what has happened and what has transpired the Virgo is going to be knowing the truth of what has really happened and this is going to be good so a Virgo is really going to be finding out the truth of really what happened and this is going to be good alrighty now um um some of you um the who are dealing with a cancer um this cancer wanted a new start and whatever the issue is and the situation is i am not seeing that new this new start this be careful because this cancer might just get pregnant to hold you in a relationship so you got to be careful be careful this cancer might just get pregnant to hold you in a relationship so this is going to play out 
for a lot of you because this cancer wants a new start and this cancer will create a new start for herself whether or not and whatever way this cancer is going to be um holding a you um or um hostage by either getting pregnant or getting pregnant for you okay so you gotta be aware because um this cancer will do anything she has no boundary he or she has no boundaries or anything now i'm seeing people in power there's an end to a karmatic situation and i'm seeing some money is going to be coming out okay so let's look in the house of passion i said it to you aquarians you gotta be careful because i'm seeing um be careful aquarians and um, please be careful because i'm seeing either you're going to be um and this could be attacked by you know or connected with something to do with police and um that sort of a thing okay so you aquarians be careful because that's where your passion is um it's in the house of your passion and pluto um with this energy is coming up for your aquarians so you gotta be careful because it has something to to do with jail lock up that sort of a thing for the rest of you don't use your power because that is what is going to fail you in this time just don't use your power just um don't play the car because it's not going to help you guys whatever power cards you have whatever powers you want to you have um use your power and it's not going to get you anywhere okay now i'm seeing this aries some of you an aries is offering you something and i don't um don't take it whoever this aries is and whoever this person is that is offering you something don't take it say no thank you um because whoever this um Aries is and whoever this person is uh, is trying to um get you in a trap say no thank you no thank you no thank you no thank you okay now we have the seventh house and it is i'm seeing someone has finally ended a karmatic relationship i'm seeing someone has finally ended a karmatic relationship unexpected news and also you're going to be this new love that is coming in for some of you is that you need to clear up karmas okay so um if you meet someone new that means you need to clear up karmas so don't worry about it it's just that you need to clear up some karmas with this person okay and that is going to be god so um in the house of passion i am seeing that you gemini's be careful because someone is taking your money just to have sex with you or make you have sex with them it's all about the money okay you gotta be careful gemini's okay um you think that you know it's, it's as if the person was having sex with you and all of a sudden because the person oh my god no i understand it gemini back the l up and put your condom on this cancer realized that she messed up this cancer is going to get herself pregnant um to hold you in the relationship oh my god now i see what is happening oh my god gemini's be careful because this cancer if she ever gets pregnant for you or you get pregnant from this cancer they're going to be taking every cent you have this is it she realized that she lost the fight and she's going to try and get pregnant for you but the family don't want that it's it's if even she get pregnant she's not going to be able to carry it oh my god no i see because they the family wanted to get rid of her and then something happened that makes a, a change did the cancer have to make a, a decision and when she realized that she has no more strength to draw she's gonna be um pulling he or she is gonna be pulling the string off uh, getting pregnant to hold you oh my god all right so conflicts is in the ascendance with a scorpio um and this scorpio is a friend some emotional situation you're going to be receiving a message um from the capricorn so whatever has transpired between you and a capricorn i'm seeing you working this out but whatever is happening um i'm seeing you're going to be receiving a message from a capricorn okay so oh my god that is slick but it's not slick because i the child did no no oh my god um gemini you don't deserve that oh my god you're so manipulated by this person this cancer and your family really don't like this person your family was happy to hear the news that this cancer 
can no longer be in the family they were happy they, your family do not like this cancer okay they know something it's as if your family is very um protective but they feel something is not right about this cancer and it's as if they're seeing that this person is not good for you but they don't want to say it to you and then what happened is that um this cancer realized that she have lost the war and she has one more thing to pull oh my god you're a sick little effer but guess what the baby's not gonna come because you're not really honest and so you know people who are out there who is dealing with a cancer be careful because cancer will seems to hold on on you and this person is only holding on for, to you for love because they 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 have not had sex in a long time and they are going to use sex to get pregnant so i'm telling you from now so be aware in the house of the ascendant some of you are seeing a situation with a scorpion and see what a scorpion has done some of you have uh, huge conflicts with a scorpion huge conflicts with a scorpion this conflict this this conflicts could be that there is someone um that is realizing what exactly is happening and you're having some huge conflicts with a scorpion because this is as if the scorpion see the cancer and realize the cancer is messing up okay and realize that the cancer is not it could be a sister but this person is seen outside of the veil this person is seen that something isn't right okay your repetition is going to be back because i'm seeing a taurus is going to be helping you to bring back your repetition so your repetition is going to be back i'm definitely seeing a taurus coming in and helping you to bring back your reputation because they're going to be seeing that someone has tried to use you in whatever way and that sort of a way and this is going to be definitely bringing back your reputation okay so a taurus is going to be coming in hurt sign people are all here the virgos the taurus and the capricorns because they're sort of helping you guys to balance out the situation so your reputation is going to be returned because a Taurus is going to be doing that for you okay whoever the Taurus is and whatever is transpiring a Taurus is going to be helping you out the house the 11th house communication there's a lot of emotional issues some of you are dealing with the liberals some of you are dealing with um, legal issues with your lawyers a lot of emotional is very emotional whatever is happening and transpiring there's a lot of communication situation communication is going to be the key whatever is happening and transpiring there is a lot of situation that is transpiring so you gotta be aware of this communication because i'm seeing you coming to the edge with a situation communication will be the key of the moment and what for whatever is transpiring around you okay okay now as we get to the 12 and last house we have a letter a letter is either coming in to the capricorns and the north node okay so whatever is happening i'm seeing healing i'm seeing a forgiveness so i'm seeing that you or a capricorn is going to apologize for something because you weren't aware of something so whatever that was happening and transpiring i'm seeing definitely um that a lawyer or as someone is going to be apologizing okay um i'm seeing that a capricorn could be apologizing to whatever a transpire or trying to heal a situation okay so the energy of the north node and whatever the issue and situation that was transpiring is that this capricorn is going to be like giving a good word for you because they want a situation to heal and move on in their lives okay so um wonderful energies ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you so much for being here um please like share 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 these videos and um i want to say to each and every person thank you for um the wonderful um energies and um please share like share and abundant um subscribe <laughs> namaste